Hi. Let me tell you all about my boyfriend. He is super good to me all the time, and I love him to pieces, but not as much as he loves me. I don't even know why he loves me either. I'm worthless. <laughs> I know that because he tells me all the time. I mean, he's a whole lot smarter than I am, so I know he's right in his assessment of me. Compared to him, I'm nothing. And honestly, if he left me, I know I'd be lost and undone. We'll never survive without him. I, I feel special that he's even chosen me. He had a horrible girl before me. I mean, she cheated on him constantly, and she was always whoring after other men. And she was also always murmuring and complaining, which he hates. She was a stiff-necked woman. So he got rid of her. Well, he did more than that. He burned her house clean to the ground. There wasn't one stone left on another when he was done with her. But obviously, she deserved what he did to her. He, uh, she, she knew he'd do it because he told her over and over that he would. I mean, it's her own fault that she didn't obey him like she should have. I mean, I make sure to do better by him. I always do what he says, and that makes him happy. And, and of course, I want him to be happy because he's promised me great riches if I keep him happy. So far, he hasn't done anything for me. But he said that at some point in the sweet by and by, he'll give me gold and pearls and, and an actual mansion to live in. Can you imagine? I'll be like a princess. Now, I said he's my boyfriend, but we're really engaged. I'm betrothed to him. So even though he's not yet my husband, I still have an obligation to do as he says, right? I mean, even if he hasn't started providing for me yet, I should show him that I can obey him so he can trust me like I trust him to eventually do as he says he will do. I do it first, and then he does it. I mean, that makes sense. Now, I just have to be patient. I have to have faith in his promises. I have to trust him. Even if he should slay me, I should still trust his word, don't you think? I, mean, I know he's trustworthy. I know I'll be rewarded for my love and obedience one of these days. Oh, sure, some people tell me I shouldn't have to obey him when he hasn't even married me yet, but that's how I prove my love to him, so he'll eventually marry me. Anyway, what else can I do? I mean, as I told you, he burnt down his previous girl's house, and he was actually married to her. If he would do that to his wife, what would he do to me when we aren't even married yet? And, and yes, of course, I fear him as well as love him. I mean, he demands that I fear him. So it's not weird or anything. I know you might think so, but I'm telling you it's not. And he told me he'd kill me if I don't obey him. Or maybe worse. I, it's, it's hard to understand him sometimes. He kind of talks in riddles. But I know that if he hurts me, it'll be my fault. It'll be because I have failed to do what he says and have provoked him to wrath. Well, honestly, I provoke him on a daily basis. And, and that just shows how patient and loving he is. I mean, he should have killed me a long time ago, if that's what I deserve. And I'm so unworthy of his love. And the fact that he gives his love to me anyway is amazing. He is so, so awesome, y'all. And besides, I belong to him. I'm his property, his slave, if you will. And so he can do with me as he pleases. That's his right. Anyway, he's good all the time. So I will praise him forever and do everything he says, at least everything within my power. I mean, even if I should ever not want to, I mean, I kind of have to, don't I? He says it's a fearful thing to fall into his hands. And after what he did to that other girl, and what he's threatened to do to me, well, again, I'm not sure I have much choice. But it's okay. As I said, I, I just have to keep trusting him to someday actually marry me and give me what he's promised. And it'll happen. I know it will. I mean, I feel it in my heart. And hey, you can be his fiancé too. He's polyamorous. He'll give you everything he's promised me. He wants a harem so that he'll always have lots of us to praise him and adore him. And he deserves it, y'all. And that's the most important thing in the world, is that he gets the praise and worship that he wants. So come and join me. Come and bask in his amazing love. But don't come 
unless you're willing to deny yourself and let him take complete control of your life. He says you're better off never getting engaged to him than doing it and then breaking your promise and backing out on him. Remember, you're his slave. He bought you. You basically sold your soul to him. That kind of contract with the devil, I mean, with this wonderful, loving man, you don't get to break. Oh, and you'll have to give up anything he doesn't want you to have or anybody he doesn't want you to be with or be around. You might have to give up some friends or even family members in order to be with him. But it's for your own good. Some people and some things are just bad for you. They draw you away from your total devotion to this sweet, gentle, perfect man. And some people don't understand how you'll be getting anything out of the relationship. And I get why they think that way, but they're oh so wrong. I mean, trust me, it'll all be worth it in the end. He's worth losing everything and everybody for. Remember, he'll love you completely. You don't need anything or anybody but him. But again, you have to be patient. Some people just want instant gratification. It's so disgusting. They don't understand that you'll be investing in your future. You won't be able to feel his love or, or be rewarded for your love toward him until later. You know, when he makes good on his promises. And he's going to do that soon, shortly. It's the last hour he said so. Then he'll fulfill his promises. I got engaged to him when I was 13. I'm 72 now, so it has to be soon, right? <laughs> and I'm sure he's taking his time because he's super patient and wants more people, like you, for instance, to come to him so he can give you the good stuff he's going to give me. It'll happen. It has to, right? I mean, he can't lie. He already told me that. Oh. And you can get engaged to him, even if you're younger than 13. I mean, you can be 10 years old or even 7 or 8. Honestly, the sooner the better. Because here's the thing. <laughs> He's going to kill you for sure if you don't get engaged to him. And you don't know when that'll be. But again, it'll be soon and very soon. Because when he finally marries me, he's going to burn down everybody's house who didn't get engaged to him. So at least you'll have a running chance if you go ahead and make him your master before it's too late. I mean, he does say he won't really marry most of the people he gets engaged to. But that won't be you and me. We'll be okay. Just, you know, keep your fingers crossed. Thank you all. Bye.